Hi everybody, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny and thank you for joining me in my video today which is sharing with you my December sewing plans. Apologies again for the light, I'm having to put um, the light on in the room because even though it's only like 11 o'clock outside it is so dark and so grey <laughs> it's not nice at all and I've just heard one of the cats entering the sewing room, a little black cat called Misty so she'll probably jump up at some point. Um, so yes, uh, it is December, so I've got lots of plans which are very Christmas related. Um, I'm wearing actually a just a ready to wear Christmas jumper, but I like this one because it says Meowy Christmas and it's got a picture of a ginger cat eating snowflakes. <laughs> and this cat looks very much like my um, other cat, Bentley. Uh, so I do like wearing um, sort of Christmas jumpers, obviously in uh, the festive season, hopefully putting our tree up a bit later on today as well, which would be really exciting. So the plans that I've got. So I'm going to, first of all, share with you the two items that I'm going to actually make as gifts this year. I'm not really making many gifts this year. I'm just making it, um, making things for two people. So I've got an item that I'm going to be making for my husband, Stuart, and I'm making another item for my mum. So those are the people that are kind of high up in my priority list for getting um, their gifts sorted. Uh, so I'm not going to make too many other sort of handmade gifts this year just because of like time and everything. So I'd like to have sewing time for um, gifts as well as sewing time for myself as well. So the first thing that I want to make is um, a while back I made Stuart a, a sleep sort of t-shirt and all it is is just a slightly oversized t-shirt but with full length sleeves. He says that he always struggles finding like long length um, sort of t-shirts that he can sort of wear just sort of you know casually sort of sleeping in um, when it's a bit cold and I made him one probably just over a year ago and um, he really likes wearing that when it's cold so I thought I would make him another one and the pattern that I use is a jelly pattern and um, this one is at 3669 I've just got it in a little um, container here um, but it's a raglan sleeve sort of long sleeved men's t-shirt and it's a really nice, easy one to make. You know, raglan sleeves are quite often, you know, quite quick. And so the fabric that I'm going to make it out of is this one. It is a, a Stoff of Denmark um, jersey that I picked up from First for Fabrics. And um, I got a metre and a half of it. So it should be plenty to have um, a long sleeved one on there. And it's this mustard colour background with these lovely grey paw prints so because we've got the cats and everything you know we are a little bit you know cat mad we do like cats so um, I thought that would be a really nice one for him to use as a sleep t-shirt just because it's a little bit fun maybe I can put one of my cat sort of sewing labels like, on the inside as well so that is what I'm going to make for him as one of his Christmas presents so that is my first plan right so my next plan is actually um, a present for my lovely mum <laughs> so my mum does watch um, my YouTube channel so don't worry there's not any spoilers because I have already spoken to her um, about it um, I saw her a few days ago and I said to her about you know some Christmas things and I said I'd really like to make you something for Christmas but please tell me what you want um, and typical mum she was kind of saying like oh don't worry it's fine I know you've got so much on your list to sew it's absolutely fine you don't need to make me anything and um, I had to have a word with her and say no mum I want to make you something so please tell me what you would like and you know as long as it's not anything too fancy uh, which for my mum it, it would never be anyway um, and um, we were having some ideas of things and she did say that she would really like a pair of pyjamas but she did give me one condition she did say please don't go out and buy any fabric please can I have something from your stash that you think I might like <laughs> and I was kind of rattling my brain and kind of thinking oh well what what have I got you know that I could you know um, I've got enough fabric like for pajamas and things and um, I had a thought ping into my head and I said to my mum I said do you remember me sharing 
this particular fabric on uh, one of my fabric hauls and she immediately went oh yes I love that fabric that would be amazing if I could have that and uh, so yes that's what I'm going to do so the fabric is this jersey that I got from Rainbow Fabrics so I've got absolutely loads of this so it should be more than enough to make her the um, pyjamas that uh, that she asked for and these colours are exactly like what my mum loves. My mum loves sort of pinks and purples and blues and yeah it's just a really fun print and actually now that I'm thinking about it I think it would make brilliant pyjamas. I think they'd be really really fun and it's a really nice jersey fabric so it should be really nice and comfortable for her. So yes that is the fabric that I'm going to be using. For the patterns, um, I'm decided on, I'm going to make the Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha t-shirt because I've made that quite a few times and it's a really nice pattern. It's not um, like too like fitted or too oversized. It's kind of just about right. So I'm thinking that's going to be the best t-shirt for her. She did ask for potentially like half sleeve or three quarter sleeve for it um, just because obviously it's winter time so that would be kind of suitable for her. She didn't want like full length because you know probably get a bit too warm but too short sleeved you just want a little bit you know covering your arms so um, yeah I'm going to make her sort of like a half or three quarter length sleeve um, t-shirt. And then for the bottoms I'm going to do a bit of a mashup of patterns because she wanted an elasticated waist but um, I don't think she's too interested in, you know, like pockets and, and bits and bobs like that because they're just sleeping in. Um, so I thought what I would do is I would um, use the top half of the Tilly, Tilly and the Buttons Juno pyjamas because um, that has a really nice elasticated waist and I do like how it's constructed. Um, I just think it has a really nice neat finish. You don't have to worry about doing like a channel for elastic it's kind of it's nice and secure it means the elastic doesn't move about um so i thought i would do that um but she said that she wanted um like a straight leg sort of pajama so she didn't want anything too fitted again on the legs she didn't want anything with a cuff and the juno pajamas the bottom half is kind of like a more of a, like a legging with um, a cuff so i thought again sticking with tilly and the buttons because i thought they'd be kind of quite easy to sort of mash up together is that I would use the Stella Joggers um, bottom half. So almost kind of use the, the, the Stella bottom sort of like trouser part, but you know, the Juno just at the, that top elastic sort of bit. Um, and even though the Stella Joggers does have a cuff, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that cuff off and I'm just going to finish it off like a normal trouser because yeah, they kind of look more like the style that mum's after, more that sort of straight leg. She didn't want them too baggy, uh, but obviously not too tight. So I kind of thought that would be quite a nice um, thing to combine. So yeah, that is my plan for this fabric. So really looking forward um, to making those. I really enjoy making pajamas and sewing with jersey. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. So those are the two projects that um, definitely 100% I want to do before Christmas. So as long as I get those done, then I'm happy. <laughs> I will be a happy bunny. Um, and I have just added a couple of extra things just for myself that if I do get a chance to make them um, in December, then brilliant. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is making just Christmas items. I just want to make Christmassy things. I was kind of thinking, oh, you know, I've got some like Christmas events that I'm going out to. I could make dresses and tops and things. I've got so many gorgeous fabrics that would be perfect to wear over the festive season, which you probably saw a few of them in my recent sort of fabric haul. But do you know what? I'm just not putting the pressure on myself this year. I don't want to sew to a deadline, um, you know, for, for my personal sewing. Obviously for the gifts, I've got a deadline, but that's obviously towards the end of the month. Whereas, you know, going out and things in the next kind of week or so, I just think that's just going to be put too much pressure um, on me to do that. And I want to just relax and enjoy my sewing during December. So the items that I uh, want to make are just fun Christmassy things that if I get a chance to make, brilliant. 
first one being is um, another Christmas jumper. Um, so I had this fabric that I showed you in my recent fabric haul. Actually, all the fabrics I'm going to show you now are from my recent fabric haul. Um, it is the Elf um, French Terry from Blooming Fabrics. So this, I think I mentioned before, has got loads of um, things from the film Elf. And I love this fabric and I would love to make myself um, a jumper. So I've got a metre and a half of that and I'm planning on making it probably, I would say, the Grainline Studio Linden sweatshirt. I think I might do just because that is one of my most favourite jumper patterns and I know it fits me well. Um, and I know how much fabric it takes and I know that I can easily get um, 1.5 metres um, in for that jumper, no problem. And I've got some red ribbing that I'm going to match up with this as well. So that is my um, plan for myself. I think that's probably going to be quite high up on um, the list to make for myself just because it is so fun. And I just think that if I wear that out and about, everyone will just smile when they see me <laughs> um, wearing that. And then um, also uh, another plan potentially for myself is I would like to make myself a pair of pyjamas as well. So I kind of thought what I could do is whilst I'm making my mum's pyjamas, when I cut out hers, I can cut out some for myself as well. And then just on the sewing machine, you know, just kind of as I'm doing, you know, seams, I can just do kind of like batch sewing. So I could kind of make both of them together, if that makes sense. And I want to use this fabric. This is a fabric from Beyond the Pink Door and it is these lovely teddy bears and Christmas trees and stars on this tartan background. Just so fun, so Christmassy and uh, yeah I really would like to make something obviously from that. So yeah I kind of thought doing the batch sewing would actually be quite a good um, idea and it possibly means that I can actually then get around to making it quite quickly. <laughs> so yeah that was my other plan. And then finally, if I do get a chance, then I would like to make myself another jumper dress. My favourite jumper dress pattern is the Nina Lee Southbank sweater. I love this pattern. Um, I've got a few dresses already uh, from that pattern and I do wear them quite a lot. So um, yeah, I was thinking maybe I could make myself a Christmassy version. So um, you probably know where I'm going if you'd seen my fabric haul, <laughs> um, but it is this one. Again, this was from Beyond the Pink Door and it's a lovely soft sweat. I have um, washed it so it's a little bit um, rolling um, now, but it's just a lovely Christmassy design with these um, reindeer and uh, like the snowflakes and just like the trees. It's so nice, a nice sort of like Fair Isle um, design. So I'm thinking that would make a really nice Nina Lee Southbank sweater and just perfect for this time of year. So that was everything. So very, very Christmassy related sewing plans. Um, I hope you um, liked what I'm planning on making. I have mentioned before, um, I'm not doing any sew alongs during December. I might pick them up in January. I'll, I'll kind of see how I kind of feel, but I just kind of want to just chill out and enjoy my sewing for a little time and um, without just putting any added pressure on myself. So yes, let me know, what are you planning on sewing in December? Are you planning on sewing any gifts for people? I'd love to know. Um, and yeah, are you making yourself anything Christmassy as well? So I will speak to you very, very soon in my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.